Hello, I'm Vicky and I am a member of All Nations Christian Centre and this is my thought of the week. So I was reminded recently of the moment when Jesus's empty tomb is discovered and it struck me that John and Peter came, they saw, they ran away uh, having run there, um, a fairly chaotic um, moment for them. However, Mary, when she arrived and she saw the empty tomb, she stayed. She stayed, she wept, but it was in that time where she just stopped, she acknowledged the chaos for a moment. She didn't run off straight away and, and try and fix the problem under her own strength. She just stopped. And fair enough, when she's asked why she's weeping, she does say, they've taken my Lord away and I don't know where they've put him. Now, I don't believe that that would have been the, the meek and mild and softly spoken response that perhaps those stylized films would have us believe. I imagine that she very much said that line in a state of distress and perhaps even angrily. But the key thing is, she stayed. She didn't run away making plans B, C and D, running around trying to fix it herself. In acknowledging the problem, the chaos, the distress, she was still. And that's when Jesus showed up. In being still, she sees Jesus. Now this idea of chaos versus stillness or going versus not going, this is a recurring image in the Bible, calm versus chaos. Jesus calms a storm, for example, uh, you know, when there's waves crashing over the boat there, Jesus is calmly asleep. When Jesus is arrested, Peter rushes for his sword, wants to plunge into chaos. And Jesus says, no, stop, that's, that's not the action that I want us to take. And also we're told in Luke that it was Jesus's custom to always find a, a desolate, again, very quiet, calm place when he needed to uh, pray to the Father. And I'm sure we all know Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and know that I am God. But looking at the whole Psalm, you see that the things that surround that instruction to be still are things like the earth gives way, mountains fall into the heart of the sea, waters roar, mountains quake. And I imagine Mary felt a bit of that when she discovered the empty tomb. I imagine she felt like her world was falling away. But she didn't run around trying to put it back together. She stayed, she took a breath and she wept. And it was there that she met Jesus. And I'm sure her world felt a whole lot sturdier at that moment. So what about us? Maybe at this moment you are feeling like you're perhaps surrounded by chaos. Maybe you've got 101 things that you need to do. Your to-do list is so long that it's beginning to wrap around you and perhaps overwhelm you. But maybe it's time that you took a leaf out of Mary Magdalene's book. Acknowledge the chaos, but be still. Just stop. And Jesus will show up. Bye-bye.